You might have seen news reports telling Americans that they ought to continue eating meat, including the most unhealthful varieties like sausage and hot dogs and bacon. What's this about? Well, a private company called Nutrirex published some articles in the Annals of Internal Medicine. And some of the articles were meta-analyses, which were nothing new, except that they combined the results of prior studies that confirmed that, indeed, if you reduce meat consumption, you reduce your risk of cancer and heart attacks and stroke and diabetes. But then they also published a study that said that if you ask omnivores what do they think about meat, they say they like it. For some, it's important to them. So the conclusion they arrived at, and I am not making this up, was that the benefit of reducing cancer risk and heart attack risk and stroke risk and diabetes just isn't worth it if it means reducing meat. Now, you and I know that reducing meat is a healthy choice. And in fact, best of all, when people eliminate it, their health often rebounds dramatically. We've seen this in studies like the Adventist Health Study 2, where researchers compared Adventists who varied in their diet. This study brought together almost 61,000 Adventists. And the reason that Adventists are put under the microscope is that they have a healthy lifestyle. They're almost entirely non-smokers, teetotalers, and pretty moderate in their dietary habits. Let's say we focus on body mass index, which is your body weight adjusted for your height, and a healthy body mass index is below 25. The daily meat eaters had an average body mass index of 28.8, into the overweight range. Individuals who ate meat less than once a week had an average body mass index of 27.3, a little lower, but still overweight. Well, for the vegans, the average body mass index was just 23.6, smack in the middle of the healthy range. When we look at diabetes, for the regular meat eaters, diabetes prevalence was 7.8%. For the people eating meat less than once a week, 6.1%. But for the vegans, it was down to 2.9%. The evidence is consistent. Cutting down on meat is a good idea, and cutting it out completely is best of all.